to get it. So, uh, yeah, that was the steamroller. Now we get a new Batwing, which is, um, I think it's kind of wacky. To be perfectly honest, it, um, has these, like, little engines here. Has a nice spacious cockpit, though. That's, like, one of the good things about it. Nice spacious cockpit. And, um, this is what it looks like when the minifigure is in there. Um, it works better with minifigures that don't have a Batman cowl. Batman just kind of needs to sit back a little more than normal minifigures, but they, can, they fit in there really nicely. They fit. The cockpit is very spacious. Um, this is the third sticker in the set and the last sticker. So that's pretty nice. And, um, it has these four flick fire missiles and, and, and these just how these headlights are they, they just remind me of the the Batmobile that um that, like the 2012 Batmobile that we got back in 2012 Two-Face Chase I don't know it just kind of reminds me of that and um then there's this this thing down here you pull it back and the wings can go can go forward for flight mode and uh, they're like these little lights and you can shoot the flick fire missiles and on the box you're supposed to capture a minifigure by closing close, closing the wings on it which um it kind of just hangs by the head like it's that's not cool. That's not cool. Batman does not do that kind of stuff. You know? So that, that's kind of frustrating. Um, and then, like, the missiles are right there. So, so is Batman supposed to, like, shoot these huge missiles into his face? I think not. Um... Yeah, so the, the Batwing is really only just like a side vehicle for the good guys. Um, yeah, I don't mind having it. It's just kind of, you know, it's not really useful for much. I don't think. That's some pretty good building techniques, though. And, uh, yeah, that, that's about it for the Batwing. And that that's about it for the set, too. So, um... Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.